This old, very tall fir tree in Shoreline is coming down because it's dead and unstable. A dead tree is a dangerous tree. That's just common sense. Mike Stanton of Seattle Tree Services knows the risks. Dead trees are disease magnets, and the weather is making it worse. Washington's severe drought is part of the problem. Then severe storms, such as last November's bomb cyclone and February's windstorm, battered trees to their breaking point, creating invisible wounds that become gateways for microscopic menaces. And it's suspected powerful storms like the bomb cyclone triggered wind throw events. That's when insects either burrow into the bark of a tree for shelter, sensing the storm, or they're literally swept away by powerful winds and displaced to new trees or breeding material miles away. After a windstorm, you always want to look for any cracks in the ground or a gap between the, the base of the tree and the soil. Take this fir, for instance. It's suffering from root rot, which can be caused by too much moisture or drought making it a prime host for insects. Usually insects aren't the cause of the problem, but they kind of attack trees that are declining in health. This tree is just a glimpse of a statewide crisis. Washington has about 22 million forested acres. The Department of Natural Resources manages about 3 million acres of state land. 545,000 acres are dead or dying, the equivalent of more than 500,000 football fields. So it's really important that we get in and we address this. DNR Commissioner Dave Upthegrove points to climate change as a root cause. As droughts intensify and insects thrive in warming forests, trees are dying of thirst while being eaten alive. It's a double assault turning once green mountainsides into graveyards of standing dead timber impacting eastern and western Washington. We're concerned this trend could continue as our climate continues to warm. The worst offenders like the fir engraver and mountain pine beetle are killing tens of thousands of trees. Others, including needle cast, strip away foliage, leaving forests vulnerable. One option is to remove those dead or dying trees and replant more resilient species like hemlock or cedar. But according to the DNR, the green it needs to remedy these issues is gone. The funding that we've been provided to do this forest health and resilience work was cut significantly by the legislature by more than 50 percent. The state once spent $125 million every two years on forest health and wildfire response. Now that's down to 40 million this year and only 20 million next year. If the legislature doesn't step up and fund wildfire prevention and forest health, we're going to see more forest disease, more insects and more wildfires. Crews like Seattle Tree Services are clearing what they can, but across Washington, thousands of dead trees remain, posing risks to homes, roads, and entire communities. But that's why I don't have tall trees around my house, because uh, every windstorm, we're taking trees off of houses or out of houses. DNR says without more funding, the state can't keep up. So for now, the trees are still standing, and so are the risks. For Environment Northwest, I'm Farah Jadrin.